Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to the June Notebook Challenge. We are almost halfway through the year and I have not finished a single notebook, <laughs> but I am not stressing it. I truly am not. I am just going to show you the things that I'm using for the summer. I also will have a fun mid-year planner lineup coming up, which I'm excited to share with you. But let's talk about what notebooks I'm using for the summer and some of the progress that I've made on the notebooks I have been using. <laughs> and let's just have some fun. Okay, so kind of a fun thing that I have really loved this year has been the Sterling Ink Common Planner. And this took the place of my Hobonichi. And I use this basically as a notebook, like anyone could use this as a notebook because the pages basically in the back are just blank grid paper notebook, just the same way as like a Stalogy notebook or anything like that. So if you have always wanted to use sort of the Hobonichi paper and style in a smaller package, this is B6 size. She also now sells at Sterling Inc notebooks in various sizes. And I think she has a B6 notebook. I bought two of her new notebooks and they are really, really beautiful. So I'll just show you those real quick. I have oh, got something on there. I need to take that off. But many of you know that this design is super valuable to me, like super personal. I love this. This was the Life is Wonderful collection from Kiki K, I think circa 2018, 2019, probably 2019. And I bought as much of it as I could at the time. And it, one of the pieces that I bought was this traveler's notebook size, but I don't typically use a lot of traveler's notebooks. I've used this a couple of times in the past, and then it also has just sat there. This doesn't have anything fancy to go with it. Like it doesn't have any pockets or anything. It just has a single strap in the middle and just a like light leather with rough edges sort of design here. But it's still beautiful and I love it. And I was looking through some of the Sterling Ink notebooks that she has. She has some that are these gold edges and some that are white. And I think the white ones are cheaper. And then most of them have this sort of black canvas front. So this is like a paper, not a plastic of some kind, but it has this binding that is kind of the, many of you know, it's it, whatever it's called. I don't know, but it's a lay flat binding and I always forget what it's called. And somebody in the comments will know. So thank you in advance for that. But this has all Tomo River paper. And I think it's the new version of Tomo River paper, which I personally feel like it's very similar, if not the same as before. I did put a few little stickers on here, but I have not used this notebook yet. I did put a little pen test, I think, in the back here and you can see that everything is pretty much going to ghost through and probably heavy marker type stuff would bleed and I did a little test with my Pilot Precise and it took a little while to dry but that's kind of typical on Tomo River paper like this so just be prepared. This size is standard traveler's notebook size and it is the bigger one. So this is like 560 pages, but then she also has one that's like a 270 page one. How will I use this? I don't know. And I realized that there's <laughs> sometimes a problem with like, hey, I'm just going to continue buying notebooks that I don't have a purpose for. But it brings me great joy. And eventually I will find a great purpose for this. I was thinking that this would actually make a great gratitude journal or something. But there's so many pages that I feel like to effectively use this, I would need to separate it like this is a gratitude journal but these pages are you know reading journal and this page is something else so I'm still putting some thought into it but I wanted to share it because it really is beautiful I also have these two standard travelers notebooks from Coffee Monsters Co and how cute are these this was part of her I think seven year anniversary bundle or something and it's just blank kind of like sketch paper on the inside and then this one has dot grid on the inside and they're super cute and they looked cute with this cover. Uh, but I don't yet know. I had an idea of how I was going to use this. And then I was like, uh, no, I don't think that's going to be perfect, but it's super cute. I have this little charm from very cute designs on this part here. And then here I have the Coffee Monsters Co little emoji there, but I also bought, <laughs> she has a Hobonichi weeks size. And that fits in my Kiki K wallet. 
I am currently using the planner that I have that matches this. And I'm sorry to say that Kiki K is really difficult, if not impossible to get anymore in the United States, but I was a loyal customer for years. So I do still have quite a collection of things, but I haven't used this as a wallet in a long time, but I really enjoyed it when I was using it. So I'm going to be moving back into this. So, uh, stay tuned if you want to see all this set up again, but this is basically similar to the standard traveler's notebook in that it's tall and slim, but it's like a little mini version of it. And this is the size of the Hobonichi weeks planners, I believe. And I did buy the one with the gilded pages, but I bought the one that is the only like 270 pages rather than the larger one. And I always like to have a notebook in my purse whenever we go out to dinner or we're doing anything like doctor's appointments, anything. I could always try to just like put notes in my phone, but I like to always have a notebook to write in. So this will be my kind of purse notebook for now. I have been using a Michael Kors notebook. I'm switching it out. I like to switch it up. So this will be my sort of summer notebook. So I'm excited to set this up. I'll put my credit cards in the back here and then I'll have this set up with, you know, different sorts of ephemera and things similar to the way that I've done this just because it brings me great joy and I love it. So those are the two from Sterling Inc. But I have been, like I said, using this Sterling Inc. Common Planner all year as my sort of nighttime tarot kind of journal. And it is, we're down to one month left because I did the six month planner. So I wanted to kind of update you on how it's looking, but I have to get these little page flags out of it. So here, like last year when I was using a B6 Stalogy, I really put a lot of tip-ins and things into it, like these kinds of vellums and different stuff. I haven't been doing that as much this year as I had intended. And I don't feel like the spine of these holds up quite as well as the B6 Stalogy. So will I use this again in 2024? Maybe, but probably not. Personally, not anything against this planner, but I just really like having the book get bigger and bigger. And I feel like the spine is already kind of just not handling it as well. Uh, but I have loved this and I know a lot of people have loved it. And it, it's basically has such a similar design to the Hobonichi cousin, but in terms of like having this year in, in advance kind of thing. It has monthly, it has daily and weekly pages. I haven't personally ended up using this like first goal breakdown or the quarterly breakdown here because I just haven't really needed it for this purposes, but I have loved the blank sheets here and the weekly. So I don't know, I, I'm not going to make any decisions about 2024 yet, but so far I have gotten I have done a really good job, I feel like, of keeping, and I've been printing this out from, I think it's Hourglass Planners, which is just a B6 habit tracker. Like if you search on Etsy for B6 habit tracker, and I've been keeping up with my habits for the entire year in a way I never have before by adding it into this nighttime journal. Um, and I'm feeling pretty good about that. I also have really been enjoying using stickers, like journaling stickers and things like that in here. I've been using a lot of my kits from um, like that came with my simply gilded subscription. So I have enjoyed that as well. So I am on page 114 out of 188 pages with one month left. So I will probably get, I imagine somewhere like here, and I'll probably have about 40 to 50, about 50 pages remaining. So I don't think that's too bad. And then I can always use them in some other way, but I feel like it has served me really well. And now I will move into a new book in July and I might try using that goal breakdown and everything else. Um, and I know technically this will also appear in my mid-year planner lineup, but it has worked more like functionally like a notebook. And I do like this Moterm cover because I can keep all of these stickers in the back here. And I really like it, but I had a gift card from a friend and I decided what do I want to do with it? I will switch things up. So I got a new Moterm. I have never opened this. I just got it yesterday. So do, 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 do. I thought I would open it for you all here. So you can see what color. Anybody want to guess what color, what color? It is purple, like a lilac, beautiful light purple color, I guess more tones of spring, but I am going to 
call this my summer slash rest of the year sort of journal. It's basically the exact same, the pebbled leather, but it's this beautiful purple. So same exact design as this one. And I will just have some fun kind of setting it up. I love all the pockets in these. I love the back pocket. So I'm excited to set up the second half of the year in here. And I think it'll be super fun. So thank you to my friend who sent me a gift card as a surprise. And that was a really nice thing. The Moterm are very affordable compared to something like a Gilio or even, I also have been eyeing the Notique planner. So there might be a Notique haul coming, you know, come Christmas time or my birthday next year for, for next year. But so far enjoying the Moterms. So I did say that I was committing to being in this manifesting journal a bit more this month. And I did a pretty good job of it. I don't want to share every single thing that I did in here because it's just private e stuff. We'll see where, where do we end up here? So this is how much I did this month. These are my pages that I did. Uh, so, you know, like 10, got 10 pages done. So now I have the rest of this. So I'm I, from this rate of movement, I'm feeling confident that as long as I keep this by the side of my bed, I will finish this. And if you're new here and you're like, what is this? This is a notebook that I have basically just used as a manifesting notebook. And it's just got nothing but positive thoughts. Like, wouldn't it be cool if this happened? Uh, I can imagine this would be, some of it is like, this is my ideal day, or this is my ideal budget. Like, I wish I could make this much money and here's what I would do with it just sort of daydreaming about what I would like to manifest in my life. And so now I have used a little more, it looks like than half of it. This is an Erin Condren Hello Kitty notebook. So I will just keep working in it. I will keep you guys updated, but I think I can finish this at least by the end of the year. But my dream, since I have like 10 of these is to put maybe a little sticker here on the side that says what year or what month and start filling these up a little bit more quickly. But just like with all things, <laughs> it's hard to do every single thing you want to do. Like I, I know many of you probably feel this way too, but it's like, I want to be gaming, reading, spending time with my kids. I want these journals I want to play in. I want to be memory keeping. I would love to like experiment more with notion. I want to, you know, keep my house clean. I want to read. I want to write. There's just so many things I want to do. And I wish we had more time in a day, but we just don't. And so I'm learning to let go of the things that I can't do. If you've been interested in managing your time as best you can and deciding what your priorities are, by the way, HB90 is open now if you want to come join us. This is going to be such a good round of the class. I feel like it has been a bit of a rough start to the year in terms of like the first few months really didn't feel like the beginning of a year, like a fresh start, like I normally feel, but I am feeling it now. So I am using this like mid year as a jump start to the rest of the year. So if you want to come join us, it's going to be a great round. I think we're going to have a really good class. So that is that notebook. So a few other things, just kind of updates. So I have been, you know, slowly working my way through this notebook. I didn't add anything to it this time. This black notebook, I've barely been using at all. So I don't know if that will continue. This one I haven't used at all either, but I have mostly been taking this out of the traveler's notebook because I, I keep loving these and I want to use them. And I do like that you can put multiple notebooks in, but I do find for using the notebooks inside, I have to pull them out. Uh, but anyway, I've got so many notes in here. I have definitely been working in here pretty consistently to get my plot down. So this is my story notebook and it's going so well. And I have loved this. This was George's, my husband's idea to start keeping notes in a B6 stylogy. And uh, I loved it. I have loved it. So I think I'll be able at this rate to fit multiple books in here. So maybe three or four books are going to fit in each notebook. But I think... I can already tell right now that I'm going to look back on this someday instead of having scattered notes or I used to keep my plotting note in, in a happy planner. And I still do love that process of using a big happy planner. We can pull the pages in and out, but it never allowed me to have like a static notebook because I could always change it up. And this will be like a bound notebook that I can look back on in the years to come and say, wow, I'm so like, look at all this like history of this book and everything else. So 
I think that's good. Um, so there's a few new things that I'm kind of pulling out and looking at. So let's just take them sort of one by one. So I signed up for another course <laughs> because I'm a course junkie. And I was thinking of, because it's kind of a similar type of mindset, personal development course to the Manifesting Babe Academy, Manifestation Babe Academy, I thought about putting all of my notes in that same notebook and I might still, but I also have been considering if I were to use a separate notebook, what would I use? And I had already set up this beautiful B6 Kiki K planner. Again, I got this for Mother's Day four, four years ago, three years ago. No, it was after Evie was born. So it would have been three years ago. And I set it up with some cute little dashboards and things that I really like, some different little puff ball things. And I just, I really do like this. I think it's really pretty and I love the B6 size and it's just been kind of sitting here, not used very much because I was going to use this for another course or membership that I signed up for and I ended up not using it. So it's all set up, all ready to go. So I think I'm going to use this for my new course and I will keep you updated kind of how I end up setting up these different sections. There are eight modules, one, two, three, four, five. And I only have five little sections here. So I probably would set each one of these up as a module and then also put like some top tabs on for the second modules or see if there's anything I can group together. But if you are someone who buys a lot of courses like I do, something that has helped me tremendously in actually finishing the classes and not just buying them has been putting together a dedicated notebook where I can keep my notes so that for me, like I know people like to make fun of me for using so many different notebooks or so many different planners. But for me, if I were to put all, everything all in one, when it's time to focus on this class, I would open up that one notebook and I would have notes for all my different classes and all the other things that are going on. And my brain would go, ah, you know, like my brain would be thinking through all the different things that I'm working on. But with this type of thing, it's a focus tool for me. I can just pull this off my planner cart and I can say, okay, this notebook is dedicated to this one class. And so when I open it up, it only has notes about that one class. And so for the way my brain works, it's more helpful to have individual notebooks for each topic, each goal, each project, each course that I'm working through so that I can only focus on that one thing and put all my time and focus into it. If that's not the way you work, that's totally fine. Like do your own thing. But I do wish that this world was a bit more tolerant of like everybody has their own way of doing things. And so if that's one of the messages that you get from this notebook challenge is that no matter how you do it, like if everything's all in one notebook, if everything's all digital, if everything's scattered across multiple things, no matter what you do, you do your thing and that's the right thing. And I just wish I could get that message across and that everybody felt that way. But um, anyway, I think I will use this for that class. So I'm excited for that. It is also summer. I've been thinking of doing a video. Uh, I probably will do a video on creating a schedule for when your plans have changed or your schedule is changing temporarily. And you know, it's summertime, so it does cross. So like I plan HB90 and June belongs to Q2, but July and August belong to Q3. But September is going to look very different in terms of schedules from June. And so how do you plan when your quarter is not like all the same? So I'm going to do a video on that. But one of the things for summer that I'm dedicated to this particular summer, because I feel like last summer my kids were on screens a little bit too much. We didn't really go out and do as many things as I had hoped because I was just too busy. So this year I'm hoping to set aside more dedicated time with my kids. And so I have a few plans. I have lots of plans. I will share them on a video coming up. But one of them is that every day after lunch, we're going to have family art time and George can participate as he feels, but Andrew and Evie and I are all going to sit down and I have a few kits. I have some sensory bins for Evie that I have some instructions on things that she can do. Um, Andrew, I have some specific things that he's going to work on 
but we're also going to work on things as a family. And I want to be there with them, not only helping them if we're all painting or doing things, we might look for courses. So if anybody knows of any like kid friendly, friendly YouTube channels that teach you how to do watercolors or anything like that, please link those resources. But I am going to take these two notebooks for myself because I've had them for a bit. This one I have literally had for years and have never used. It used to be planned to be an art journal for myself and then I never had time to do it. So I'm gonna be making time. It may only be 30 minutes a day, but we're gonna do it. So this is a notebook from Mossery and you don't have to look very far to guess why I bought this. <laughs> I also have a little golden dragonfly pen. So thank you again to my subscriber who let me know about this brand that had the dragonfly on it. But this is uh, similar to that Moterm where you can pull, it's a cover that I can pull this out and replace this notebook. But this is a sketchbook that is multimedia. So it can be for watercolor, it can be for gluing, taping, painting on, you know, all of that stuff. So anything that I'm doing with watercolor or paints, I'm going to use this notebook. Anything that I'm doing that is just like Andrew and I have a couple of books that are all about doodles and different things like that is going in this gorgeous Archer and Olive and it has a narwhal and it's this beautiful color that kind of, I guess this has kind of been my color lately, even my coffee cup like <laughs> matches it right now. Um, but this is a square Archer and Olive. It's like eight by eight and it's all of course dot grid thick paper. So I could technically paint in this as well. I don't expect to finish this notebook within the summer, but I would like to learn more about how to draw and doodle. And I know that Andrew is really interested in learning to do like comic panels and he's already made a few of his own things. So he's welcome to one of my Archer and Olive journals if he wants to use it or he can pick out whatever he wants to use for the summer. But these are my two journals or notebooks that I will be using for art. I don't know that I will share them because I'm going to be a terrible artist, I'm sure. My sister is an art teacher and she's super talented, but I did not get her talent for art. But anyway, I am excited to have that dedicated time with the kids. Um, and I've, I think it's going to be helpful to have predetermined when that time is going to be to be able to use it with them. Another notebook, gosh, I don't even know if this will be in the frame properly, but yeah, it'll stay. So this is something that my friend Amber let me know about. This is from a brand called Poketto and it is a project planner. So this is not exactly a notebook, but I wanted to share it with you. I might, if you guys want to see the full setup of it, let me know. I'm going to be doing more kind of plan with me style videos coming up just to see if you guys enjoy them. But I wanted to introduce you to this really cool project planner. So I do project planning inside HB90 and it, it is put together for setting goals, breaking them down into projects and tasks. But this is a specific project plan with... Uh, I, I don't even know how to explain it. So you've got January through December here with all these blocks, one through 31 that you could put, like you could track your social media numbers. There's like anything you wanted to do. You could do a checklist of like, did I do, did I work on my writing today? And you could have a whole yearly view of when you were writing and how many words you wrote. So that might be how I use this piece of it. But I have a project I've been working on really for the past six months called Project Phoenix. And this is just basically the idea that because I've been so focused over the last couple of years on not only like keeping my family safe, but also on YouTube and courses and things and teaching other authors, I have not been as focused on my writing and my own promotion. Like I haven't promoted any of my books in years, like no ads or anything. And it shows, so my rankings aren't looking that great, but I still have a dedicated core fan base and I want to work on Phoenix, like rising from the ashes of kind of letting this career go do dormant, so to speak by publishing new books, taking out more ads, getting new audiobooks, doing a Kickstarter. There's lots of things that are involved in that. And so I'm gonna use this as that. So I'm just gonna flip through it real quick, just in case you might be interested. They sell these at like Anthropology. They sell them on the Paquetto website and you can also get them on Amazon. So I think it was like maybe 30 to $40. So it's a bit pricey, but I'm excited to use it. It's nice and big, like this is huge. Then you have, so you have that overview year. Then you have 12 monthly plans and this is all undated. Then you have a weekly plan where you've got a week here and a week here. And it's basically a checklist of which, what's your goals and then what are you going to do during that week? And then 
you've got after the 52 weekly plans, you have project planning sheets. And to me, these are some of the coolest pages of the whole planner. You got the project, you've got tasks, and then you have a timeline one through 31 where you could kind of highlight, okay, from the sixth to the 10th, I'm going to be working on, you know, updating my back matter. And from the 10th to the 20th, I'm going to be working on my website. And you could put that here with notes and you could color code it and it would be really nice. So there's lots of those project planning sheets for basically if you have the goal of like rejuvenating your career, then you've got all these project sheets that could follow you across multiple quarters. And I think it would just be a really cool record of what you got done. So there's lots of those sheets. Then there's just these kind of like checklist sheets, project task idea, research and development meeting and other. So there's lots of those little sheets and then there's just notes at the back. So I think this is really kind of cool. I think I was thinking maybe it had a pocket, but it doesn't, but it does have an elastic. It comes in lots of colors. I'm going to use it for this project Phoenix. If you guys want to see it set up, let me know, but I think it'll be cool. So not exactly a notebook, but I wanted to share it just in case because you could basically take a notebook and put that same kind of information into it if you wanted to do it bullet journal style. So I thought I would share it. Okay, just another um, couple of things here. So you might have remembered a few years ago, I purchased this gorgeous cloth and paper cover and I have this exact same cover, which is the quilted cover in happy planner size, but this is a five size. So I have it in both and she has them in rings or ringless. So the rings are, you know, obviously have the rings in the middle or ringless is for either bound notebooks or things that have discs. And in the past, I did use this um, for some course stuff that I was doing, but that course is now over. Uh, I've used this for multiple things, but it's kind of had the remnants of old things in it, uh, but I haven't used it in a while. So I've got these gorgeous dragonfly discs. These are um, from Inked United on Etsy, and these are the rose gold ones. So this is basically half letter size and it has eight discs. And so it's not exactly A5, it's half letter. And this cover kind of keeps popping off, so I'm gonna replace that. But something I also bought, I had a bunch of uh, like rewards points from cloth and paper. And so I've been slowly using her coupons, like $50 off coupons to sort of stock back up on some things. And one of the things I just recently purchased from her shop is this full year tabs. So it's just gold tabs on the side that say January through December, and they're all the same eight disc half letter setup. So what I'm going to be doing, and again, I kind of am feeling the desire to do more plan with me's more like notebook setups and stuff. So you might see more of that coming up on the channel in this summer, just because I'm feeling excited about it. Uh, so if you want to see the setup of this notebook, what I'm going to be doing with this is it's going to become my life admin notebook. And what I found similar to the idea that I was talking about that everything kind of for me needs its own separate focused notebook. I want to have a notebook like this where it's really just to do's and things that have to do with our family life, our home, our cars, our cleaning schedule, budget, not business stuff, but the house. And we have certain goals. Like I really want to pool outside. That's going to take me years to save up for. Um, I want to have a better cleaning schedule. My husband doesn't have a normal job. And so he does a lot of the cleaning, but he also doesn't like to do the deep cleaning stuff. And I also enjoy doing the cleaning myself. It's like stress relief. I listen to audiobooks when I'm doing it. So I'm just wanting to keep track better of when was the last time I cleaned the baseboards, you know, that kind of stuff. And any like extra, like I've never really done sinking funds and other things, but I'm kind of interested in doing more budgeting. And I think it'll be something that serves me well in terms of saving for future goals and different things like that. Plus Evie's going to be going to school this fall. So some of the things in our lives are going to change. We have more baseball practices and gymnastics and other things like that. And we also have garden outside. So we have five acres on our property and we want to plant more fruit trees and we want, I want to plant more of an herb garden and we have just different plans out there. And I don't really have one dedicated space where I'm like keeping track of goals and expenses and all that other type of life admin stuff. And even just things like 
It's time to get the tires rotated and the oil changed. My husband is not great about keeping records on that kind of thing. And I'm constantly frustrated by it. And so it's like, okay, I'm just going to need to do it myself. And so I think this will be a great solution. Something beautiful that I can create as our sort of family admin binder. And I've never done this before. So I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to try it. <laughs> so I've got the January through December tabs here. I have some pages here that I can reuse, like some of these little things. Uh, but I also have some new inserts from Cloth and Paper and from Fancy Plans Co. If you follow At Home with Kita, that is her brand. Um, and she does a lot of half letter type things. So it's got budgeting and cleaning pages and stuff like that. So I'm excited when that stuff comes in to set all this up. So if you have anything like that, let me know and let me know how it's been working for you. Um, I'm pretty excited to set it up and get to use it. And I will also be, I have a Hudson cart, which is from Michael's kind of over here that you can't see. And it's a bit of a mess. So another thing that I'm going to be doing coming up is reorganizing that so that all these little planners that I use and notebooks that I use are organized on top. So I can always have a place where they go back to at the end of every night. So that was helpful for me when we lived in our Charleston house and I'm excited to like get back to that. So, um, I did make another decision about some of my like secret notebooks and other things that I'm working on, like using, reusing those Hobonichis, but I will share updates on that next month. But I think this is probably enough <laughs> for today. I always get so excited to chat with you guys about notebooks and to see what kind of notebooks you're using. Don't forget that you can always tag me or use the hashtag HB notebook challenge over on Instagram so I can see all your notebooks. I also have been keeping up with my memory keeping and my meal planning. And so I will share some stuff about that in the uh, yearly, like mid-year planner lineup. But I've just gotten a new set of stickers from Jessica Hartz. And she, I just wanted to mention her because she has different ones that are very, so this is called Fairy Forest, but it's really based on like a court of thorns and roses and some of the like books. So she has stickers that have books on them and different things like that. And like this one says, we're all mad here, but this one is, oh no, this is the one. So this one's a court of mist and fury. And the stickers are really, really beautiful. And so if you're a book lover and you also have like an Erin Condren or you like to use sticker kits, she has a lot of really cool ones that are book related. And so it's just kind of neat to see these, like, look at these stickers. It's just very cool. And so I will share some of that with you guys in terms of the sticker kits I've been using and what I'm planning to do for, um, I also got a big order from My Olive Blue. She has some cute stuff as well. Uh, I will share all that in the mid-year planner lineup coming up, which I'm excited for. There's, I keep saying I'm excited, but that's because there's so much to be excited for this summer. I am finally feeling the like return to feeling rejuvenated and excited for my goals. And so I just know this HP 90 is going to be the best ever. So come join us if you want. Let's also talk about our notebook giveaway and our diverse read of the month. Okay. Our diverse read of the month is a nonfiction book from one of my own students in Publish and Thrive. Yay, Dawn. So proud of you. So this is called The Power of Clothing and Personal Packaging. Change your mind, change your clothes, change your life by Dawn Thibodeau. I am so proud of Dawn. She has really worked hard. She has an amazing blog and she has, she just really truly has such a history and so much that she has done. And I hope that you will take some time to go follow her. Her website is dawntoday.org. And she also has a podcast that's been really great to listen to. So here's a little bit about Dawn. For the last 30 years, Dawn has been the secret weapon brought in to help women in companies like Delta, Honeywell, and McDonald's. And she has been the quiet force behind the life changes experienced by tens of thousands of women across the U.S. What is her secret? She helps women to understand how to leverage what she calls the power of clothing and personal packaging and shows them how to get that little known power working for them instead of against them. She and her husband of 33 years and counting share four children, adult children whom they love and adore. Their family number is 24 and they currently reside in the Midwest. Like how beautiful is Dawn? You can follow her on Instagram at my Dawn today. She also um, has her e email and website and everything in here. 
But I grabbed this in paperback because I really also would love to do some photo shoots and other things for like branding photo shoots, both for Heart Breathings and for my Sarah Cannon author brand. And sometimes I feel like I don't really know what my personal style is. So I think this is a really interesting book to take a look at to learn the power of clothing and personal packaging, your personal branding. And I think if you're interested in fashion at all, you will love this book. And I'm so proud of every single one of my students. So thank you to everybody who has both sent me their actual books, tagged me or, you know, put me in the acknowledgements. It means so much to me. I have now filled up an entire shelf on my bookcase with my students' books, and I'm very proud to add this to the list. But if you want to dive into fashion and, of course, support Black and other diverse authors, check out Dawn Thibodeau's book, The Power of Clothing and Personal Packaging. For our monthly giveaway, some people are going to be very excited for this. I know I am giving away a B6 Stalogy notebook. This is the same kind of notebook that I use for my own writing journal, my story journal. And I have an extra one that I would love to share with one of you. So if you would like to enter to win, please make sure that you are subscribed, that you like this video and that you comment down below. I will be choosing a winner by the end of this week on Friday, and I will get this shipped out to you as soon as possible. It's open internationally to everyone. And I know you're going to love this. It's one of my favorite types of journals ever. Okay, so that's it for our June notebook challenge. This summer is going to be amazing. I can already feel the energy is just lifting. Things are moving. Momentum is happening. If you want to continue to build momentum in your own life, get rid of fears and worries and let go of your anxiety so that you can take control and empower yourself with a plan that actually works. Not to be perfect perfect. By any means, I am not perfect. Perfection is not the goal, but to move your life in the direction of your dreams, your joy, HB90 is a class for you. Come join us. It's open today. We have both a pay in full as well as two payment plan options for a three month payment plan and a six month payment plan to make it more affordable. And once you have taken the class, it's open to you for life. So we still have hundreds of people who come to the kickoff call every time and thousands of people who continue to use the planner and the system for years and years afterwards. So come check out the sales page so you can see all of the great testimonials. If you've been having any questions, feel free to email me, sarah at heartbreathings.com. And I hope to see you in there. Happy June, everyone. And I will see you soon with some plan with me's continuing on the writer reset and more. All right, all my love. Bye.